So before doing our butterfly kick, we're gonna get on the floor and we're gonna stretch our straddle. So you wanna go on the floor, separate your legs, keeping your knees straight, separate your legs as much as possible, and then you wanna try and bring your chest towards the ground. So you wanna stretch out for about 30 seconds. The reason we stretch this is because the further you can split your legs apart on the straddle, the better your butterfly kick will be. So as you're doing the butterfly kick, you're gonna split your legs this way, and the further you can get them apart, the easier it will be, because this leg is gonna reach for the ground first. So the first thing you wanna figure out is which side you're gonna do it on. I'm gonna be jumping off of my left leg and going on that left side like this. So I'm gonna show you two ways to get into this trick. Number one, you can just start from standing, just dip your chest, go like that. And number two is if you have a little less power and you can't get it from standing, we're going to do a little spin before. So this spin is going to look a little bit like this and it's going to help you a lot when you're learning the butterfly twist as well. So what you're going to do is I'm going to start going on my left side. So for me, I'm going to bring my right leg over like this, do a half twist and then do another half twist and then I'm going to go into the butterfly kick. What you want to make sure that you do is during the second half twist, you dip your chest to enter the butterfly kick, which I will explain in just a second. So to get into the butterfly kick, there's two main steps to enter it. We're going to dip our chest and kick the outer leg. So it's going to look a little bit like this. Kind of bring my arms around here as I dip my chest down. And then as I bring my chest back up, that's when I'm going to kick my outer leg. As you kick the outer leg, you also want to make sure that you jump off of the other leg to make sure and get height. So again, as you dip your chest and you bring it back up, that's when you jump off of this leg and kick with this one as hard as you can and at the same time. So you can practice that a few times so you get comfortable without doing much inversion. So it's going to look a little bit like this. Dip the chest, kick, and just do that. So this is an amazing progression for the butterfly kick because you can do that a bunch of times without actually inverting too much and it's not that scary. So you can practice that and then try to invert your body more and more as you're doing it. So it's going to start off like this, just a tiny jump like that and as you get comfortable, try and kick just a little more and a little more each time. So as you get comfortable, your legs should be parallel to the ground during the butterfly kick. So as you kick the outer leg, you can actually start looking at the ground and you can actually rotate the butterfly kick around that spot. So as I kick, I'm going to look at one spot here and my legs are going to come around. As my legs come around, they're going to land one at a time on the other side of the spot that I'm looking at. So for me, I'm going to look here, kick and then land about here, one leg at a time. So a few things to watch out for. The first thing is you want to try and make sure that you don't travel too much. Some people end up getting too much momentum off of the twist at the beginning and then they kick too far which makes it a lot harder to land. Another thing you want to watch out for is the initial kick. Some people don't kick enough so it doesn't even end up looking like a butterfly kick at the end. 